Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The world is hoping that this treaty signed between Russia and Ukraine could reduce the threat of severe hunger present in the countries around the world. The two countries' first agreement since the outbreak of the war will allow for ships hauling grain to sail through the Black Sea, freeing 22 tons of goods to help alleviate the global food crisis. Ukraine is not only the breadbasket of Europe, but also of countries in the Middle East, such as Iraq. One of the highest-ranking church officials in the country described the situation before the agreement like this. In our case, for example, the government of Iraq only has grain for five months, but there are others that don't. The situation was of high concern for the FAO, the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. Before the treaty was signed, they warned that the lack of grain would raise prices and present problems to underdeveloped countries. They will pay more to get less, and that is a very strong warning because there are countries on the verge of difficult situations. And that is why words like famine are becoming more frequent in reports. Recently, the FAO's director general told the EU's ambassadors that the food crisis caused by the war is yet another blow added to a long list of problems linked together in recent years. In 2021 alone, 828 million went hungry. The Vatican applauds the deal between Ukraine and Russia to free the grain and avoid further disaster. Per favore, non si usi il grano, alimento di base, come arma di guerra. The deal is a truce on the Black Sea. Both countries have the option to back out after four months, which is why the situation is so fragile. Russia is concerned that passing ships will be used to send weapons to Ukraine. The next step is to address Russian fertilizers. They are used to increase crop yields, and without them, the food crisis will persist, despite the recent deal. In certain countries, such as Peru, 50 percent of agricultural fertilizer comes from Russia.